Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to a Saturday Suds on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Bear Views. And what I got for you today is a brew out of Lynchburg, Tennessee. Now, I say that. Let me double check. Let me double check and look here, see if it's actually done in Lynchburg. It may not be. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is not. This is not done in Lynchburg, Tennessee. This is flavored beer. Settling may occur. Contains FD and C yellow number five. Jack Daniels Beverage Company, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Okay. So this is this is a Jack Daniels Lynchburg lemonade at a 4.8% ABV. Now I was just assuming since you know Lynchburg is like 20 minutes away from me here uh, in, in where I'm at. Um, this is a malt beverage with natural flavors and certified colors added. Uh, I was assuming that it was probably done here in Lynchburg, but it's not. It's uh, it's done in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Jack Daniel's Country Cocktails. All right, 4.8% ABV, Lynchburg Lemonade. So we're going to try this today on a Saturday Suds. And, you know, since I've done, you know, several, you know, fruity type beverages this week, I thought this would just, this would just uh, wrap it up nicely on Saturday. Um, this is one of the brews that I picked up at Kroger. I had a mixed six pack I had to put together, and they just didn't have a big selection of beer. And I'm a beer guy, y'all. I don't mind, and I like trying different stuff and I don't mind different stuff but I'm a beer lover I love beer um, so I had to put together a bunch of stuff that I really you know I, I needed to review some I need to make some reviews and went in there to pick up a few of some singles and they just didn't have a big selection so this is one of them and you know since Jack Daniels is you know like 20 minutes away from me here uh, the actual distillery is now this stuff is made in Wisconsin but whatever Anyway, I decided to pick it up and review it. Um, I've had a couple of Jack Daniels. Uh, I've had the, the what, what was it? The Jack Daniels Cherry Cola. I think I've done another one like this. Uh, this is only a 10, 10 fluid ounce bottle. It looks like a regular size bottle, but it's actually two ounces less than your regular, you know, your 12 ounce whatever. Anyway, we're gonna try this Lynchburg lemonade today on Saturday Suds. And it'd be easy to get it all off in here because it's only 10 ounces. Hear that fizz? It's going to go away right now. See, it's gone. Just like that. Lynchburg Lemonade. Alright. So, it looks... It kind of looks like lemonade a little bit. I mean, it looks like cloudy water is what it looks like. Actually. Just cloudy water. It's not got a... A yellow tint to it or anything now the aroma coming off of it just be honest it smells kind of artificial just smells artificial y'all I'm just telling you about it tell you what I'm getting off of it it just smells like an artificial type and it's not really a lemony type aroma I'm getting anyway. It's just kind of an artificial type. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this Lynchburg Lemonade is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way, just like I do. I love and appreciate y'all. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Well, I got to tell you, <clears throat> while you're drinking it, it's good. It's not too tart. It has a little tartness, just very, very mild tartness. Um, the flavor of it's pretty good, actually. Um, it doesn't really taste like lemonade. Um, I mean, it has a lemon, it has a lemony flavor to it. 
it does but just to shoot straight with you the uh, Mike's hard lemonade seltzer at a 5% I had earlier this week is better it's it it's better um, this has a, a slight lemony flavor to it but the finish uh, I don't, I, the finish is has got just a little bit of a tinge of an artificial type flavor to it and it's not bad it doesn't taste bad like that one yesterday at Mosa the, the, the finish was awful I mean it, it, it was funky in the finish this one's not not like that it's just it's got just a tinge of an artificial type flavor in the finish but it's not bad um, it's actually very smooth and easy to drink a 4.8 percent ABV um, uh, you know if, if, if you're not into beer and want an alcoholic beverage and want something you know that's 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 easy to drink you know give this stuff a shot I mean it's okay I'm gonna score it a B minus um, and to me I don't think B minus is really an unfair score I mean it's it, it, it tastes okay it's got the little bit of tinge of an artificial I don't know in the finish it's just a little bit of artificial type flavor to it um, keep it away from your kids I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that up front because it's real easy to drink I mean it's got the mild lemony flavor when you first put it in your mouth but that finish just has a just a little bit of a I don't know it's artificial it's it's not unpleasant but you can tell it's artificial the, the uh, to me to me it tastes got an artificial type flavor in the finish just a little bit uh, but it's not a bad it's not a bad brew um, I think B minus is a fair score for what it is I mean it's not typically my thing anyway I mean it's not something I would buy again uh, now this is something that my my wife would enjoy uh, people that enjoy white claw might enjoy something like this um, and I'm not gonna tell you that I've never tried white claw I have I tried a mixed four pack of white claw reviewed them way I can't even remember how long ago it was but you know they're not typically my thing either but if you like those kind of beverages you, you would probably enjoy this one as well so that's just my honest opinion y'all I'm a beer guy but I like trying different things too and uh, this is okay uh, B minus I think is a fair score alright y'all I'll be back next week I love and appreciate y'all thank you so much for watching if you like the videos man I've been doing this for almost well probably a little over four years now I'm here every Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday every week trying something different you know some most of the time it's beer sometimes it's you know off color stuff like this but I'm here every Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday sometimes Tuesday sometimes Monday but every Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday um, just trying something different you know loving on the American worker letting them know that I love and appreciate them and the hard work that they do just like me because I'm right there in, in, in I'm right there in the soup with you y'all uh, it, it's hard to make a living if you like the videos hit that little beer mug right there in the corner it's right there somewhere if you're on your computer I don't know if you can see if you're on your phone or not but subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, if you get a chance to check out beer reviewers United on Facebook there is all kinds of different beer reviewers that do all kind I mean they're from all over the world y'all this guy he's my buddy Brian Braden down there in Florida um, he started this group on Facebook the beer reviewers United got people from all over the world that post reviews of different kinds of beers um, German beers Belgian beers I mean just all kinds of different stuff if you're into beer and you love beer like I do check out beer reviewers United on Facebook and follow them I mean they, they got all kinds of stuff on there it's very interesting all right y'all I love and appreciate y'all I'll be back next week y'all stay tuned take care Cheers.